So, this is the second part. I was just about to, to expand about these two books. Piano Teacher is a book that I would just call shocking. If it's really heavy, it, would, it will load you with thoughts about the following. Austro-Hungarian Empire, uh, the culture of Vienna the discrepancy between outside which looks really perfect and cultural and very intelligent and amazing and very accomplished and the lower side of human beings i think it could be summed up by a quote by the writer by a famous german writer who said we can see how mankind can rise very high and can go very low at the same time. So this is part of the discrepancy of humanity. So she has this codependency relationship with her mother, very psychological. She goes to porn peep shows after she teaches uh, piano in the Vienna Conservatory. The writer has uh, also studied there. And so I'll read from the beginning and the end. I'm reading a translation, so of course it will be very different. Uh, I think it's different to read books in the original language. Die Kleiverspielerin. Um, I think in German it's called the piano player, not the teacher. Klavierspielerin is piano player, which is different than piano teacher. The piano teacher, Erika Kohot, bursts like a whirlwind into the apartment she shares with her mother. Mama likes calling Erika little whirlwind, for the child can be an absolute speed demon. She's trying to escape her mother. Erika is in her late 30s. Her mother is old enough to be her grandmother. The baby was born after a long and difficult years of marriage. Her father promptly left, passing the torch to his daughter. Erika entered, her father exited. So this is a family drama. Eventually, Erika learned how to move swiftly. She had to. Now she burst into the apartment like a swarm of autumn leaves, hoping to get her room without being seen. To get to her room without being seen. But her mother looms before her, confronts her, she puts Erica against the wall under interrogation, inquisitor and executioner in one. Unanimously recognized as mother by the state and by the family. She investigates. Why has Erica come home so late? Erica dismissed her last student three hours ago after heaping him with scorn. You must think I won't find out where you've been, Erica. So she describes Vienna. It seems like I also had this sense when I was in Vienna it's a very hard place. Uh, you see people with musical instruments on the tram. Uh, it's, there's so much culture there. But we must not forget that they brought, the Austrian people brought a lot of culture to this world. Uh, Mozart, need I say more? I visited, I spent a whole day in Mozart's house where he was born, lived for a while. And then you have Adolf Hitler. And this book is sort of, gives you the answer how this happens because you have a discrepancy between very high culture and very very low uh would say um uh, all kinds of urges that haven't been dealt with because when a person has to go to porn peep shows they're not dealing with their sexuality very well because if you look at sexuality as a form of contact between people um perverse sexuality such as described here within this page is either a peep show or there's no contact between people and there's a lot of violence and she has this student who's 10 years younger than her she teaches him piano and he comes to her apartment very frustrated from the relationship and beats her up brutally breaks her nose breaks her ribs and locks her mother in another room while he's beating her up and the neighbors don't come to help her interesting that the it was always mentioned that the neighbors are always angry about noise so this is very different than this American novel where it's all about uh, completely different, completely different uh, energies. So let's finish with the Austrian. So Erica clutches the warm knife in her bag. She is determined to seek some sort of vengeance. She walks through the streets towards her goal. 
She offers an unfamiliar sight as if made to flee people. People have no qualms about staring. They make remarks as they turn around. They are not ashamed of their opinion of this woman. They express their opinion. This is very, you know, people see you, they talk about you, but they don't really see you. This is the ultimate alienation, which is very difficult to live with, which is maybe why violence comes about when there's no communication between people, when people pretend to be something they're not, the result is violence. So she has this knife and she's crossing the open squares in front of museums. Pigeons soar up in the face of her resultness. Tourists gawk first at Empress Maria Theresa, then at Erica, then back at the Empress. Wings rattle. Museum hours are posted. The streetcars on the ring head towards the traffic lights. This is very not sentimental. There's nothing sentimental about this description. It's very harsh. Sunlight flickers through dust. Young mothers begin their day, daily march behind the bars of the castle garden. The first prohibited signs are hurled down on gravel walks. They have a lot of rules in this Germanic part of the world. From their heights, the mothers drip venom. Everywhere, two or more people now communicate. Colleagues get together, friends get into arguments. Drivers dash energetically across the opera crossing because the pedestrians are out of sight, remaining underground, where they have, I show you a beautiful sight while I'm reading. Colleagues get together, friends get into arguments. Drivers dash energetically across the opera crossing because the pedestrians are out of sight, remaining underground, where they have to bear the brunt of any damage they themselves cause. Down there, they cannot find scapegoats. Drivers. People enter stores after first evaluating them on the outside. Few people stroll aimlessly. The office buildings on the ring swallow up person after person, people dealing in import-export. In the Ida Cafe, mothers discuss their daughter's sexual activities, finding them dangerously premature. They praise their son's commitment to school and sports. This is also quite difficult, the way men and women, female and male, are treated in this society. Erica Kahoot clutches the aberration of a real knife in her handbag. Is the knife going on a trip? Or is Erica going to eat humble pie and beg for male forgiveness? She doesn't know as yet. She will decide when she arrives. The odds are still on the knife. Let it dance. The woman is heading towards the secession gallery. A renowned artist is showing something after which art can no longer be what it was. From here, engineering the opposite pole of art is already visible in the distance. He is an engineering student. Erica only has to cross over and then through Wrestle Park. Wind wafts now and then. Voices of the youthful thirst for knowledge accumulate here. Eyes graze Erica, who faces them. At last, people are looking at me. Erica exults. For years upon years, she avoided such gazes by remaining monotious. But if something lasts and lasts, it eventually erupts. Erica does not confront the gazes unarmed. You dear little knife, you. A knife is also... Um, I'm interrupting the reading. And life is also a, a symbol of men, male, you know, um, genitalia, isn't it? A phallus sin symbol, according to uh, psychoanalysis. So she's trying to seek power. She feels powerless as a woman. And the knife gives her power after she's been beaten up by a male. Erica does not confront the gazes unarmed. You dear little knife, you. Someone laughs. Not everyone laughs so loud. Most people don't laugh. They don't laugh because they see nothing but themselves. They don't notice Erica. Groups of young people coagulate in the flowing stream. They form vanguards and rear guards. Committed young men resultly have experiences. They keep talking about them. Some want experience with themselves, other experiences with others, to each his own. On the facade of the engineering school, the columns bear the metallic male heads of the Institute's famous scientists who invented bombs and defense systems. A gigantic church, the Karlskirche, crouches like a toad in the midst of the bleak wasteland. Water bubbles up, self-assured and chatty. One walks purely on stone, except in Russell Park, which is meant to be a green oasis. Sorry. 
You can also take the subway if you feel like it. Eric Okoho discovers Walter Lemmer, that's the student, in a group of congenial students at various stages of knowledge. They are laughing loudly together, but not at Eric 